Flexible antennas made from chopped up tape measures and a chassis of sheet metal machined in a Queanbeyan workshop. These parts hardly scream high-tech satellite, but together their designers say they'll revolutionise the way the sky is kept safe. At the moment, when an aircraft is flying from Sydney, for example, towards Los Angeles, as soon as it takes off, it's got really good coverage with air traffic control. But once it gets off over the Pacific, it's sort of, it, it disappears off the radar, literally, and it needs to be tracked by other ways. With our spacecraft, we can track that aircraft all the way into Los Angeles. The long search for Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 in 2014 demonstrates why this sort of capability is sorely needed. To meet that need, Canberra-based company Skycraft plans to put not just one, but 200 electronic eyes and ears in the sky. We're launching seven in June, another seven in, in October next year, uh, another seven in early 23, and then we'll roll out the full constellation of 200 spacecraft. The satellites will be built right here in the capital, in Skycraft's offices at the University of New South Wales Canberra City campus. They'll hitch a ride into orbit on a SpaceX launch vehicle with the largest ever Australian-made payload, benefiting from an increase in commercial spaceflight competition. The actual launch costs are coming right down and that makes it so accessible to people like us. Sharing that accessibility aboard their satellites will be demonstration systems from other organisations, including the Australian National University, who will be testing a thruster powered by the key chemical in mothballs. And it's Canberra's many tertiary institutions that those in the growing local space industry say are giving them a leg up. Canberra's a very innovative place and the key thing is that it's got a great lifestyle. And so people are not really interested in going to a massive city to earn a few thousand dollars more. Um, you can actually engineer really well in places like Canberra. Salaries are high, um, but the benefit is you can be very cost effective. Placing the capital firmly on the space industry map. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.